हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एन बी कॉमर्स अकेडमी आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेवेन्यू अंडर डिफरेंट मार्केट कंडीशन टोटल रेवेन्यू एवरेज रेवेन्यू एंड मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू बिहेव डिफरेंटली इन डिफरेंट मार्केट सिचुएशन एंड प्रिंसिपल फॉर्म ऑफ मार्केट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर इज परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन मोनोपली एंड मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन सो हेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेवेन्यू एंड अ परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन Perfect competition is a market situation in which there are large number of buyers and sellers, and they are selling homogeneous products at a uniform price. So all the three concepts of revenue, that is T R, A R, and M R, are described accordingly. Let's take a table where output is shown, total revenue is shown, average revenue. and marginal revenue if we are selling 1 2 3 4 units of output then total revenue increases at uniform rate because average revenue or price is same as i said uniform price is there in the perfect competition so marginal revenue this is also same which is total revenue of n the term and total revenue n th minus 1 so these gaps are again is 5 so if we look at total revenue it is increasing at a uniform rate average revenue which is total revenue divided by quantity it is 5 same as marginal revenue so here we can conclude that total revenue is increasing at a constant rate whereas to average revenue and marginal revenue they both are constant and equal to each so, other diagrammatically as per table on x axis we are taking output and on y axis there is shown revenue if we take into consideration the total revenue then total revenue curve will increase at a constant rate as if we sell 1 2 3 4 4 units of output then revenue would be 5 10 15 and 20 it would increase at constant rate hopefully it would be clear to all of you that total revenue curve increase at a constant rate now coming to average revenue and marginal revenue curve as we know average revenue is equal to marginal revenue in case of perfect competition market and it is parallel to x axis because if we are selling one unit two unit three unit or four units it would be same that is five depicted by the above table so coming to concept of revenue on the monopoly and monopolistic competition here i am taking the table where output is shown along with total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue same if you are selling 1 2 3 and 4 units of output total revenue increases but at a decreasing rate so it is 10 18 24 and 28 so average revenue which is total revenue divided by output it is 10 9 8 or 
and if we come to marginal revenue this is 10 8 6 and 4 so here we can conclude that total revenue is increasing but at decreasing rate which means if monopolist want to sell more of the commodity then he has to lower down its price accordingly sale increases but ar tends to decrease if ar is reducing then marginal revenue must also reduce average revenue is decreasing and marginal revenue is also decreasing even more than the average revenue so diagrammatically we can show behavior of total revenue under monopoly and monopolistic competition market that total revenue is increasing but at a decreasing rate and when it comes to average revenue and marginal revenue then average revenue and marginal revenue behaves as mr is always less than ar and it mr declines faster than ar so this is average revenue which is showing decreasing trend and marginal revenue is on the left side of average revenue it is decreasing faster than the average revenue so we can sum up the topic as average revenue and marginal revenue equates in case of perfect competition and it is just like parallel to x axis over there but in monopoly or monopolistic competition average revenue and marginal revenue shows the relation that they both follow decreasing trend or average revenue is always more than the marginal revenue and we can depict it as average revenue and marginal revenue.